When linking our application to CockroachDB, the first thing we need is a connection between the database and the driver. With Node Postgres, we can create a client object which will establish the connection for us, but how do we use that client? One option would be to create a single client when the application starts up and then reuse it for every request. However, this creates a significant bottleneck because we can only execute one query at a time, which eliminates any parallelism. That is obviously undesirable. Instead, we could try to create a new client for every request, which would allow parallelization, but that's also considered an anti-pattern. Let's take a deeper look with the problems with that approach. Each time we create a connection, there is a cost that must be paid. We need to allocate resources for the connection and establish communication with the database. We also need to free up the connections once we are done. All of this takes time. If we add that time on to every request, it can create a lot of unnecessary latency in our system. This reduces our throughput and has a direct impact on our end user experience. We'd prefer to avoid the added latency if possible, but this is not the main reason to avoid creating new connections on every request. Sudden changes in traffic can have a dramatic effect on our active connections. Imagine if we have a microservice that typically handles 100 requests at a time. Under normal circumstances, this might not be a problem. However, what happens if 100 connections suddenly surges to 1,000? How will that impact other microservices that may also be connecting to the same database? What if those other services are experiencing a similar surge? If our services all surge their connections at the same time, our system may not be able to handle it. We might lose all of the microservices, the database, or even the servers running them. The end result could be a system-wide failure. To avoid the latency and unpredictability of creating too many connections, we can instead make use of a connection pool. A pool allows us to parallelize our requests, but sets an upper limit on the number of connections we create. By default, the node Postgres pool has an upper limit of 10 connections. However, this can be tuned higher or lower as required. With a pool in place, we no longer need to create a new connection every time we make a request. Instead, each request leases a connection from the pool. It can use the connection for as long as it needs and then return it back to the pool. The connection is then ready for the next request that needs it. Because the connections are already created, we don't need to keep paying the connection cost. It's only paid once. More importantly, because the connections are reused, we never go beyond the upper limit. No matter whether we have 100 users or 1,000 users, we always maintain the same number of active connections. This gives us a more predictable amount of load and helps prevent unexpected failures. However, it does have its own consequences. If all of the connections are in use, then any new requests will have to wait in line. This creates additional latency during sudden spikes in traffic. However, generally additional latency is considered preferable to overwhelming the system. We'd rather see the system slow down instead of causing a system-wide failure. As a best practice, we recommend using a connection pool when connecting to CockroachDB.